Hey, what's up, world? You know who it is, your boy Malcolm Jones, Mr. Boston himself, man. But today I got a special guest, the Miss A Beautiful Imani Willis. What made you want to start painting? And what age you, you, did you start painting everything? I started painting in high school. Um, what made me start painting? I guess it was just like, <laughs> I can't even explain what made me want to do it. Currently, like, I've been painting every day. I haven't missed a day in like at least two months. Mm -hmm. so I would like to um, keep it in my future. I would like to paint probably for the rest of my life. Just because it makes me feel better. You it do. does. It's like like the art therapy thing. It, it allows me to express myself and allows me to get out whatever I'm feeling. So I'll probably do it for the rest of my life. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So bye. I got a question I want to ask you. So define the word art for me. Like, like what's the meaning of well, what does art mean to you? I would describe it in one word, which is aesthetics. And aesthetics is like the um, philosophy of like the beauty and art and nature. It's just like, who? I mean, it's in the eye of the beholder. Whoever is looking at it, whatever they find beautiful to them, that's what art is. By you growing up in the military, like, how was that like for you, for being here today? Dead tomorrow, then here next week, and here somewhere else, money you travel across the world. Like, how was that? I think it made me who I am. I think that um, by moving so much, I've been able to learn how to like interact with different types of people. Mm -hmm. And as far as like my art goes, I think that it gives me like more of a range of inspiration. Also, um, you know, I had a really strict dad. I didn't have a door on my hinges for yeah. like a period of time in high school. Like a door on your hinges. Yeah, like my dad took the door off. <laughs> so because of having a strict dad, like it made me disciplined. I'll tell y'all something, guys. If you're watching this, don't try to talk to my dad. I might put. I am his head. baby. You know. You only child. No, but I'm the oldest. So oh, of course. I'm I was the first one. You're the first born, so I know yeah. how the first born is. I can recall one event um, in particular that, like, I think that changed my life. I um, went to, a, I had an art show at this place called Art Town in Birmingham, and it was, like, musicians. It was, like, um, it was, like, girl, it was, like, a girl doing, like, spoken word, um, it was like some other artists, some photographers. And I just remember like feeling like I'm in my space because for a long time I was like, I can't do Birmingham anymore. Like I wanted to move because all of the people I was around, I felt like I really didn't fit in. And I felt like um, they really didn't get me. But in that moment I was like, okay, I figured it out. Like I just gotta be around like my people. <laughs> Yeah, the I people think. that's weird like me. <laughs> that situation changed it for me, and I was like, I want to do this mm -hmm. as much as I can, and that's why I've been like, art show after art show after art show. I noticed that you did it using a couple school plays. You painted a couple, a couple, couple painting for the play and everything. How was that? How was that experience for you, knowing that you did this to have your your self portrait in a play that you that you helped with? Like, how was that? I mean, it was awesome. Um, in 12th grade, we did uh, Alice in Wonderland, mm -hmm. and my role was like the cook, the person that stole the tarts. And um, I remember like prepping for the play. They wanted like some props, like a tree, and um, some more stuff. So I remember just like painting nonstop just to help out. And I, like, really, really enjoyed it. So I was like, I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> so, yeah. In, in the next five years, like, where do you see, like, where do you see yourself going with this pipe? It would be awesome if I could open up, like, my own art therapy center where I could have more towards adolescents. Mm -hmm. But just have them come in and maybe, like, give them some probing questions or, you know, you know, try to open them up, but have them be able to paint while I'm there and, you know, kind of see what we can get out of their painting. Because, like you said earlier, it's like when you paint, you have no choice but to, like, pour your emotions out into whatever you're painting, whether you're happy or sad or whatever. So it's like 
looking at it, I feel like I would be able to tell more of what they're experiencing and be able to help them. We, we have a painting right here that we currently got that you that you did yourself. Can you tell people that's watching this, like, what does this painting mean to you? Um, I usually don't share when I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the meaning behind my paintings, but, um, this one in particular, I was, um, in a relationship dealing with um, this guy. And I remember just thinking like, it would just be so much easier if I just stopped dealing with him. And I guess that's why you see like the sunshine back here. Cause it's like, all I had to do is just stop dealing with him. Yeah. But instead it was like, I wanted, I just kept moving forward through the storm, the chaos, instead of just, you know, turning around and moving forward. Yeah, that's you right there. I got the Lenore from that's Lenore. Yeah, that's so supposed that's, to be me. <laughs> yeah, so I see that. I see that. If you could put this anywhere in the world, like, where would you put it at? If I could put it anywhere in the world? Where would you put it at? Oh, my. That's, like, a great question. I don't think about this. <laughs> <laughs> it would be somewhere in Michigan. Michigan. Um, Why Michigan? Yeah. Because that's my home that's what i where i feel home at yeah. anyways it's the only place where i can go and i know everything and everybody even though i've lived in so many different states that's the only place where it's like you can't tell me anything about it that yeah. i don't know you feel like you're, 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 you're when you around when you other when you when you other states you like this when you get home you just like yeah it's like i'm home i breath. just kick back it's a breathe i feel yeah. with all the pains you've done like what would be your most favorite one my favorite one, um, it's a painting of a girl. I don't even have it no more. Somebody threw it away. She was holding a wine glass, and it's, like, green in the background, and she had, like, a white shirt on with, like, some colors kind of like this. Mm -hmm. But it was, like, mostly white, and um, her hair was down. I think that's probably, like, been my favorite for as long, like, for a long time. And it's pretty old, too. If you had the ability to paint anything, what would you paint? I'd paint myself. People see me as a, I'm always happy. I'm always an outgoing person. But I've been through some things in my life that I don't, I don't talk about a lot. Mm -hmm. So if I painted and painted up, it would leave so much stress. Yeah, it would, too. Like, I, I'd paint the back of me. Like, I'd paint my back mm -hmm. and put, put scars on it because scars, scars, I, I've been hurt before. You that know. sounds like a dope painting. You yeah. should try to do that. Yeah, I, for real. I paint my back and I put scars on my back. To, you know, the licks I took, the things I went through to get to where I'm at. So, I'll do that. I get that. You know, put that in the museum somewhere. Man, yeah. Not gonna any money. Did this together. <laughs> that sounds like a dope idea. It will. Yeah. You can use it if, you know, if I don't do. You use somebody else. I don't care. Just you know what I'm saying. By you doing this painting, and everything you going through, what you went through, things you've overcome. What have you got out of it? The greatest lesson that I learned, it's really not that hard to be successful. You just got to work. Like, you just got to do the work. You just got to do it. No matter what it is, no matter, you know, what it takes, you just have to do it. And as long as you continue to do it, you'll get there. People quit when the obstacle come up. When it gets hard, they mm -hmm. quit. But if you keep going, you'll get there. You're right. I hope you got what you want to get to. Tyler Perry, Kobe, Michael Jordan. Right. They, they put work. You just got to keep working. So you got to just keep moving forward. My Instagram is Wave, W-A-B-E, Valerie, B-A-L-E-R-I-A. -E -E. And uh, Snapchat is Princess underscore 231. Oh, we're not for the end. I got a suggestion. How about we do a paint live on Starbucks right here, right now? I think? think that would be awesome. So we're, we're back. We're going to do a little demonstration, a little paint play and everything. We're going to paint a tree, a tree of life. You know, in life you have things that em embraces you to be better, embraces you to open up and do things. So we're painting a tree of life. But, you know, I ain't a good painter, so I'm letting E-Money help me get through this. E-Money. <laughs> Just take on you. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to try to help you as much as I can. So you don't necessarily have to dip it in water first, but I do. Um, dip. <laughs> and then whatever color you're going to use, which probably should go for a brown. I like to try to, like, mix more than one because that's just my life. So it, 
if you can see, it's like both colors on there at the same time. Um, basically, I guess we could start with the tree trunk and just go up the side here. You really didn't know how to paint for real though. Like you ain't ain't no rookie at this. Like you really did got different strokes for different folks. <laughs> <laughs> So like we said in the beginning, so mm. like how often do you paint throughout the week? Like, like you have a, a goal. Every you, day. You paint That's every day. That's the goal. Every day. Now sometimes I slack, but I haven't slacked in so long. No. Yeah. I'm still working. <laughs> you think I ain't working? That's when I'm working the most. <laughs> yeah. You think oh, I ain't doing? You probably. That's chilling. when I'm working for me. Yeah. When you think I ain't working. Yeah, for real. And that's the best kind of work. I mean, just paint it. Just do your thing. What color we paint? Green. I mean, if you want a green, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what color are trees? A green, ain't it? Trees are not green. I mean, they kind of are. So just add like a little bit of green to it. Uh, and just make it like that. Greeny, brown, whatever. Doo doo brown. <laughs> That's why I did just paint. Do your thing. I just paint this like this. All right, let me see some. Okay, now stutter B. Stutter boss. Hey y'all, this is my first paint session on my show. You might have the first one. I'm honored. So when I make so when stutter boss blow up, and ask me how have I had any paint on my show. Oh, you blow too? I'm gonna say, yeah, you money with it for the first one. Mm-hmm. Ain't that be good? It's gonna be a lovely It'd day. It'd be awesome. So right now, guys, we just doing a little tutorial on how to paint. Your money's doing a great job and everything, you know. So if it's like hard to get it smooth, that's when you add water. Okay. So when it starts getting like a little rough, and you feel like you kind of forcing it. <laughs> Add water. <laughs> so I'm gonna add my water now. Mm -hmm. But you gotta be careful not to add too much water because then it'll drip down, which is the worst thing ever. I don't want that to happen. No. Okay then, okay now. So, so why do like, Painters have different style of paint brushes, but like, like, what's the meaning of that? I mean, because everything, I mean, if you're a photographer, like, you're not just going to have one camera. If you're good, you're going to have, like, different tools. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing for anything. If you're a cook, like, you're going to have different things. You might have a spoon. You might have a spatula. Like, they all do different things. Like, the one that you have right now is good for straight edges. It's good to make sure you don't go outside of the lines of yeah. whatever you're trying to paint. So, that's usually the one that I try to use when I'm, like, just doing what we're doing, basically, and just painting in, in the lines. Say I'm holding on now. I think you're doing a good job though. You got like some different colors in there. It's looking good. No. Artist now. Yeah. I ain't can't paint no Mona Lisa, but you know, I'm, I'm an artist. I don't think I can paint a Mona Lisa myself, so. I think you can. <laughs> really? Let me tell you why. Okay, let's hear it. You shouldn't limit yourself with what you can't do. You, you always tell yourself what you can do. You know, you're right. So you can do it. 
People tell me I couldn't do this good with her. You're doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Don't tell me good luck. That's real. Don't tell me good luck. Yeah, I have to learn to um, not limit, limit myself. It's this huge canvas I saw at Michael's. It's like a hundred dollars just for the canvas. Yeah. And I want it, but I was just thinking, like, what am I gonna put on there? It's huge. It's probably like the size of this wall right here. I think you should. I think you should, think you should get it. I'm working on it. So you already took took step one. You invested in yourself. Yeah. A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't do that. They don't invest in themselves. It's difficult. It's hard. Mm. Get me wrong. I don't say it's easy. <laughs> it take you know what I'm saying. It take time. It take it take a little this and that. But you know, if you believe in yourself, you'll do it. And that's really like the biggest part about it. You just gotta, you gotta like believe. believe. Yeah, you believe. You believe. So you doing what you believe, man. That was you. It was. It was what Dre say? God's plan? This was God, this was God's yeah. plan for you to do this. So you did. I think it definitely was because it's like, I I guess I try to stop painting. Yeah. Like I try to not do it and I end up doing it anyways I'm every the, time. I'm the same way. It came to time. I said, man, forget this shit. I mean, forget this. I don't want to do this no more. But, you know, every time I say that, God always... Put you right back. You put me right back? Yeah. I'm like, man, just do it. I got you. I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, everybody, everybody feel like a gift is singing, playing ball, playing sports, but it's not. Steve Harvey said that. He said, sometimes your gift can be cooking chicken, washing cars. Yeah. That's your gift. That's your gift for life. So, you hear that, people? You can do more than just sing and Play sports, and you know what I'm saying. You can do a lot of more things to be your good. Whatever your thing is, just do your thing. Just do your thing. Yep. You can't go wrong just doing you. Mm-mm. At all. So what you think? How is it coming? <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Uh, my first time. I'm gonna do it again though. It's your first time painting? Yeah. Like I, ever? I told you I ain't painting since since uh kinder, since the fifth since the fifth grade. Oh wow. I'm honored. And you would do it again? Most definitely. Yeah. You ever like hosting a painting event in Birmingham? Like, oh yeah, I got one coming up Friday at the um, Brookwood Village mm -hmm. from five to nine. It's gonna be um, for the Birmingham Art Crawl, mm -hmm. and it's like a lot of um, like local artists gonna be out there. Mm -hmm. They gonna have like food trucks and music and everything. So it should be cool. So what does this paint look like? What this paint look like? What is this? Why? That, that is my favorite brush, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a fan brush. And um, it's best to use for, like, grass or, like, anything that you're basically trying to make, like, a lot of little lines with. So if you want to add some grass around the end there, you can do it with it. All right. We'll add some. And I'll show you how cool it is. Said I'm holding on now. Our tree looks different. <laughs> it do. Like, it do look different. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like the tree of life? Danny made these trees. It. <laughs> it's a new tree. You hear me, fellas? And ladies and gentlemen. Got a new tree, ain't even came out yet. Oh, I see, a, see something different. 
Yeah, it's, it's a, it's, this is real. This is a color for real tree. The color scheme. Yeah. So, like, what type of color scheme do you use majority of the time? Um, I do try to use as many colors as possible, <laughs> but um, I use like a lot of red, mm -hmm. a lot of red, and um, a lot of black too. Why red? I don't know. It's just like it's your favorite color. It huh? stands out. I guess it probably is my favorite color if I had to choose one. I like a lot of colors though. I think between red and black, I really like black. Getting better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna do the grass now? Yeah. What do I gotta do? Is it go like this? Go up, hold it this way, mm -hmm. and go up. Like this. I like that. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. I like this. Either way. You probably should go up the other way. I lied. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, I don't laugh at me. It's my first time doing this. You're doing a good job, though. I'm here for it. <laughs> You can't mess it up. That's the beautiful thing about art. You can't mess it up. That's how you feel. Yeah. Pretty green little grass. And somewhere, somebody in the world, somewhere will always like it. It's always going to be somebody that like it. You just start going the other way. <laughs> Do your thing. I ain't gonna hold you back. Oh, all good. Then. <laughs> My roots. You know, anything you start, you build from the ground up. Oh yeah. So I'm putting the roots on there. <laughs> Look at my artwork, y'all. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Jack of all trades. <laughs> it is looking good. Mm -hmm. It's getting there. Got a little bit of work to do. And like the amount of time you put into it is kind of up to you. Yeah. yeah. Some people take like days or months to like do one. Y'all see this? World, people, my own cross the nation. Just watch it. It's.
getting better. The roots did it. Yeah, that's what it was. Cover the roots, <laughs> Cover the roots up. The roots made us so much better. Well, y'all, as we get ready to close and everything, you might to tell everybody where can they find you at on social media. You can find me on Instagram at Wave Valerie. That's W A V E Valerie V A L E R I A, and on Snapchat at Princess with four S's underscore two three one. Well, y'all, this session has came to the end. I'm glad that you money stopped by. Hope y'all got something from this art that we did. You know, this is mine. Mr. Malcolm John did it himself. You, know? you got to put your initials on there. Of course. I'm not going to steal. They're trying to sell you. <laughs> on eBay. I can't even get a thing back on here, y'all. You got to let them know. Y'all know where to find me at. Instagram, Stutterbox TV. Facebook, Stutterboss TV. Personal page, Malcolm Jones. Twitter, Stutterboss TV. YouTube channel, Stutterboss TV. Okay, no. MJ. Tree of Life. Well, Imana, thank you for stopping by today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you for coming on the show. Hey, everybody, I thank y'all for tuning in to this nice segment. It's a very, 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 very interview with Imani Williams from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Currently residing in Birmingham, Alabama. I thank y'all for coming in and being a special guest on my show today. I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all catch us next time. Y'all know what to do. We out.